Mecca. The last time I went to Mecca was five years ago in November 2017, a month before starting work in the United Arab Emirates. How happy I am to be able to return to Mecca to continue the worship that has been delayed for the last five years. Especially when Allah allowed me to perform Umrah in Ramadan, the month of mercy, which was revealed to the world by the Quran, the month in which Allah sent down the Laylatul Qadr. Previously, I lived in Medina from 2007 to 2013. which allowed me to go back and forth once a week or two or three times in a month to Mecca in performing Umrah. In addition, from 2013 to 2017, I was at least once a year to be able to make Umrah to Mecca and to visit Medina at the same time from Indonesia. The journey from Jeddah airport to the Masjid al Haram Makkah takes only 30 minutes, not too long. Using green taxi available metro from the airport to make it easy for all those who want to directly continue the journey from the airport to Makkah. Where it happened that I didn't get a fast train that should be planning to be able to take us from Jeddah to Makkah. This time, I went to Mecca with four other people who were fasting for the first time in Saudi Arabia and again at the same time performing Umrah for the first time in their lives. I was very impressed with the spirit of worship I saw from them, which motivated me to worship even better. Entering the city of Mecca, which is now much tidier than in the previous five years, I saw Mecca that is more structured and has unique characteristics that make Mecca the first best city as a holy city of Haram in the world. Seen from the hotels that are very neatly arranged with the unique architectures. Likewise, when entering the Grand Mosque, where everything is neatly structured from, for the entry and exit of people, perform Umrah in comfort with the proper instructions from the guards at every corner of the mosque.
Performing Umrah in the Ramadan is undoubtedly a delightful thing for me. Even though my family has not been able to join together yet, but I'm sure that Allah will provide the best for my family and for me. I'm pleased to be able to carry out worship where one prayer at the Grand Mosque is equal to the hundreds of thousands of ordinary prayers in another mosque. This 600 meters tall building has become one of the icons of the world's noblest Muslim city. In addition to the unique gold that adorns to these towers, it's also super tall and large from the clock, which is a symbol of Mecca, which can be seen also from almost any angle in the city of Mecca. <laughs>
and this is what motivates me tremendously to help to continually to return back again to Makkah. After three days in Makkah, finally we had to return to Jeddah and travel back to Buraida. Returning to Jeddah by taking a taxi and arriving in Jeddah is constantly amazed by the operations of the new airport. King Abdulaziz International's airport was the fourth largest airport globally after Beijing, Dubai and Hong Kong. Its unique design makes it also a super beautiful airport and a get for Mecca al Mukarroma, covering the previous three airports the North Terminal, South Terminal and the Hajj Terminal. This is super unique airport with sustainable energy as a value added standard of operations. Makes this airport a smart and eco-environmental airport in the world. 